This is Amy Chapman for 12 Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup. If you've been following the series, you know that Pilaf's been a pretty sensitive puppy. But with a lot of work and some patience, she has come a long way. And this week we took her for her biggest outing yet at the Foster City Art and Wine Festival. Every year, Foster City holds a big art and wine festival. And it's really fun for us to go to this event for many reasons. One, this is the city that Matt grew up in. And two, there's tons of different distractions to expose our puppies to. We've exposed Pilaf to a lot of different things while we've been training her, but nothing to this caliber of distraction and stress level. If you've seen week nine of the season with Pilaf, we discover that she is easily overwhelmed. I think she's a little overwhelmed. Time to go. We've been very careful about exposing her to too much stimuli. Well, Pilaf's made a lot of improvements in her confidence and her ability to handle some stressful situations. A big part of puppy raising is repetitive training. Now she may know to leave food and other dogs alone at our house, but when you take her out of our house and put her in a new situation, it's a whole new learning experience. She needs to know that she has to have the same behavior at our house and also at the festival and pretty much anywhere we take her as far as food distractions go. Speaking of food, as soon as we got there, the sidewalk was covered with popcorn. Now being a future guide dog, her partner won't be able to see the popcorn, so won't be able to go around it. So what do I do as a puppy raiser? I walk her right through it, just like she would if she was with a blind person. This is a very dog-friendly event, so we expected to see a lot of dogs there. Sometimes Pilaf still is a little dog distracted. Now I need to pay really close attention to how Pilaf is handling the situation. I don't want to set her up where I know she's going to fail, so I'm trying to be one step ahead of her and watching out for the other dogs before she sees them so she's right and she can have a really good experience. We did pass a little white terrier mix that she did look at, but then she immediately checked in with me to make sure that I knew she was paying attention to me and she's doing a really good job with this. Now I need to be a little extra focused when there's other dogs around on outings like this. If I feel like I'm approaching somebody who doesn't have control over their dog, I'm gonna keep peel off a little bit further back until I am comfortable walking past them and the other person has control of their dog because I don't want anything to happen to peel off and I don't wanna mess up her training. This is a special art and wine festival. It's the only one that's in the area that actually has a small carnival. I decided to take advantage of this opportunity. There was plenty of room behind the carnival where we could take a little bit of a break and Pilaf could lay down and just sit and watch the sights. After watching the carnival, we had already been there a little over half an hour and Pilaf was starting to show signs that she was pretty much done and ready to go. So we decided to try making our way back to the car. But the crowd had gotten a lot bigger by then and we had to do some weaving through the crowd. At times we were walking a few steps and then stopping because people were stopping to look at things or having a chat with some friends. So it was really difficult for Pilaf to navigate a crowd the size of this one. She even handled people whizzing right by her and not noticing that she was there and almost hitting her. Once we made our way through the crowd, I couldn't help but bend down and give her a big ol' hug because she did a really good job and I was so proud of her. I'm really excited how Pilaf did on this outing because it's summertime and there's all kinds of fun activities like this one to do with her. Now I'm still keeping her outings a little short and we're slowly increasing the amount of time we're keeping her out because she's doing so well but I don't want to overwhelm her. So keep watching and stay tuned to see what kind of fun activities we take Pilaf on next. Uh -huh. 